She calls herself the Yo-Yo MP. Nationals Maureen Pugh is trapped yet again in the revolving door of politics, not knowing for sure whether she's in or she's out. You might know the name because former party leader Simon Bridges was caught on tape calling her effing useless. But this is the third time the West Coast has been caught in the dead zone. 2014, she was in via the party list on election night but out after the special votes were counted. 2017, same story, in on the night, out on special because they don't tend to favour National. She finally got over the line in 2018 when Bill English resigned, but right now Maureen Pugh's the last National MP on the list to make it to Parliament. But with specials still to be counted, Maureen is standing by to be jettisoned. Maureen, have you got a sense of deja vu? (laughs) I actually thought this might have been third time lucky. Um, but no, it's not. But yes, definitely deja vu. And so I am under no illusions what is going to happen when the specials are counted, Lisa. So, well, explain your situation to people who are not 100% here. You're kind of in no woman's land at the moment, aren't you? <laughs> well, as I say, this is the third time it's happened. So on election night, with the numbers that come in on the day, I get enough votes. Um, the National Party gets enough votes for me to get in on the list. Then what happens are the specials are counted and we, uh, they tend not to favour us. And so we lose um, votes, other parties gain them, and so we lose a position or two on the list. And I drop off. Then I wait for you know, someone who might be retiring or moving on. And then I come back in, which is what happened when Tim Grosser left and Bill English in 2018. So, yeah, a, a bit of deja vu, and it looks like that's going to happen again, although I'm not quite sure whether we will have, um, you know, enough wriggle room uh, this time because uh, it's a very short list this time. Yeah, so Maureen, you're number 19 on on the party list, as I've got Mm -hmm. it in front of me. National gets a total of 35 seats, 26 electorate seats and nine list seats. So you're relying Mm -hmm. on a list seat here. So as you point out, well, you're you're hanging by your fingernails, basically, aren't you? Again, yes. (laughs) Again. I've got strong fingernails, Lisa. So um, how are you feeling? about the situation? Oh, look, I'm pretty resigned uh, to it. But like I say, it, it, you know, I've been here before. Um, it's just the nature of the beast, you know, the MMP environment. Um, the special votes, there's quite a few of them this time. I believe about 480,000. Uh, and if the national gets you know, 25 or 6% of those, it means that, you know, there's a big chunk have gone to other parties and they will probably increase their capacity within the MP pool, and which means that we will decrease. So it's, it's just how MMP works, and those specials don't tend to favour us after an election. Uh, and so, you know, I am resigned to that. That's fine. So, Maureen, you're pretty much saying you think you're out. Is that is that what your feeling is at this point? Oh, I'm, I'm almost assured I'll be out. Uh, but, you know, as, I, as happened in the past, never sure how long that's for. And uh, But because we, we are a very small party list now and likely to get smaller, whether there is an opportunity to come back in is the, really the big unknown for me. OK, Maureen, lean in a bit here because we need to have a quiet chat. The thing is, you could make it if Jerry Brownlee or Nick Smith decides to resign. Are you, are you hoping that's going to happen? No, I'm not, um, because... When I came in um, after the last election, it was because Bill English resigned, and I would never have wished that on us. And so the same with Jerry and Nick. They've been very good friends, great colleagues. Um, Nick is my partner, electorate um, MP, and you know he's been a great mentor and support to me, and so has his team in his office in Nelson. So uh, you know I'm not going to wish that on them. Um, and, and for me, uh, you know, I, I'm quite happy to go home, back to the farm and just sit and wait it out. And I don't wish any ill on any of my colleagues. Do you prefer the farm over politics or, or are there some similarities? <laughs> no, there are very few similarities, actually. Um, I, I don't have a preference, though, because, you know, my loyalty is to my community, the community of the West Coast in Tasman, 
um, so you can't give that away and substitute it for something else because I will never be able to give that away or let it go. But going home to the farm is not a punishment either. Um, you know, spending time with my husband and family, um, my my daughter, for instance, um, you know, she's needed me a lot more this year than I've been able to give her. How would you describe your sort of revolving door political career? You know, how would you sum up, <laughs> sum that, that up? Well, well, I call myself the yo-yo MP. I'm up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, I was hoping to yo up um, rather than yo down this time, but it's, it's going to do it, I'm sure of that. And, you know, I might, might yo-yo back up again, who knows? But um, look, it's not going to be the end of the world as I know it, Lisa, but it will be the end of a job as I have known it and loved be, loved doing. So, look, it's um, it, it's just one of those things. When you when you get into this game, you understand the rules. And, you know, I could get all bitter and twisted about it, but that's, I'm the only one that's going to impact on. And that's Maureen Pugh, who is currently a National Party MP. But as she says, she's likely to get bounced out when the special votes are counted.